welcome to another hair tutorial so in today's video i'm going to be using two packs of darling maxi hair this is 86 inches it is in color 99 and i'm going to combine it with this ombre hair that was given to me by ahima royal it is so beautiful i love the colors it has wine burgundy a little bit of burgundy shade and then white or blonde and then i also have this red hair that i had in stock so i'm going to combine all these hair extensions to do the knotless braids and to start with i am going to be stretching this red hair i'm just going to put it together and then stretch them together and with the stretching you can clearly tell that when i open the hair or divide the hair then i place them on top of each other not directly i'm placing it on top roughly and then i'll just um separate them like that so i do it continuously until i get something like this and then i use my comb to brush through i'm going to do the same thing for the ombre hair but then i'm going to divide it into two so that um, I get the best out of it because I'm going to do short knotless braids. Um, yeah, I'm just going to be dividing the hairs just like that to have until I add on until I get my desired length. So I did the same stretching for the blonde or the ombre hair as well. And then with the darling maxi hair as well, I also um, divided it into three because it's um, 86 inches. I divided it into three equal parts and then i stretched it as well so basically that is how i ended up stretching all the hair together <laughs> And then for the pattern, I used a flat surface, which is my table. And because I don't have a shoe rack, I'm going to pre pat the sections as I am doing. So if you don't have a hair rack, did I say a shoe rack? <laughs> if you don't have a hair rack, this is perfect for you to do your pre pattern. So get a flat surface and then pat the hair according to the sizes that you want. I'm going to be using these sizes and I'm placing them on top of each other, something like an interlacing, okay? And you place them on top of each other until you exhaust the hair in your hand. And it will be movable on your desk it is not going to tangle or anything like that so i did it for all the extensions that i was going to use the ombre one the darling maxi and together this is all the extensions that i have pre-parted this will make the hair um, picking of the hair very very easy and it will save you a lot of hours instead of parting the hair as you move along okay now to start with this is my beautiful shortest hair i am going to be using jaslyn glazy jam if you want this gel you can check um jaslyn glazy you can check jaslyn hair wig tools on ig to make an order i've already said i was going to launch it but my website is still not ready so yeah this is how it looks like now to start with i am just applying some of the gel at the back of my hair a tip that i would give you is that when you are going to start braiding your hair especially if you're a beginner start from your back and do a test braid okay so that you'll be conversant with the, the with how you are going to braid the hair whether you are going to do twisting or whether you are going to do box braid or whatever start with your back okay if you start with your your front your edges might suffer so start with your back i normally start with my back and then i do a test braid and see so for today's braiding because the concentration is on the gripping i wanted to make sure how i was going to actually grip the hair and attach the extension on it so i did it at the back like i am saying so that i am able to master how i'll go ahead so when i realized that it was going to work my practice was going to work then i did it for about four strands at my back and then i moved to the front which is going to be the major concentration for tadai so over here i am parting my hair with this big tooth comb and i'm using these um pins to secure so that they don't um come to where i am braiding <laughs> so that the concentration will be around the hair i want to concentrate on so these pens will really come very very handy all the clips so when you apply gel around the part you want to braid then you use small teeth comb to comb it through and the hair will automatically stretch out okay my hair is very coarse as you can see so when it stretches out then you use um your hair use your fingers to braid box braid a normal box braid okay so you have a little strand like that it's so cute now to what size the extension i'm passing the red extension under and then because it's knotless when i pass it under then i flip it over my index finger 
and then i braid you see another add-on so i pass it under and then i flip it over my index and then i braid it like that so that's how i am doing the feeding for every single braid i used about six different um hair or this patterns that i did i used about six to do the attachment or to do the feeding and then i braided it down until i reached my desired end and you can see that i am i am using the gel as, as i am i braid along so that by the time i am done i would have a smooth um finish so i wouldn't have a lot of flyaways by the time i am done i am done so that's why i'm applying the gel as i move along so you can also see that the hair is not tight okay as much as i am braiding it on my short hair it is not tight now when i reach my desired length i fetch um a small amount of strand and then i make a knot around the base now you can do the knot in another way which i'm going to show in and in the next braid so you can knot it about three times until you feel that it's secured then you open the same strand and then you make another knot or twice okay so this is one way you can secure a knot at the end because i'm going to curl it okay so this is how it is looking like very very secured it is not going to move or whatsoever we are going to do it for the second time now when you part the hair then you use the clips to um remove all the distractions <laughs> and then you at, you apply gel at the base and then you use a small teeth comb to comb through until you realize that the hair is um, up again now because it's at my edge and for this particular one it's not a lot of hair that i am grabbing so i just twisted it and then i started attaching my extension so you can decide to braid the hair or twist it if you are braiding it into smaller sections the edges that i am on or the part i am on is very very small so that's why i didn't braid it into three or well, that's why i didn't do a box braid okay so that is that for this particular hair strand and again you can see that it is not tight at all even though it is secured it is not tight at all so make sure that you are not tightening it otherwise by the time you are done your scalp won't have it easy with you you might want to remove it the same day okay so i braided it downwards until i got to where i needed or where i desired and for this particular um tying you take a small strand of hair and then you wrap it around the base this is one of the ways you can also secure unlike the first type okay and then you make a knot so you wrap it around about five or six times and then you make a knot about two or three times so far as you see that it is well secured and then you open the same strand and then you make a knot you can you would you might think that it, it takes a lot of time but it's worth it because by the time you are done if you don't secure it well your braids will remove okay so basically that is how to secure the hair or that is how to grip and secure you just part your hair use the clips to take away all the distractions focus on the main strand of hair use your gel to apply at the roots and then you braid it if it is a lot of hair with a pattern that you have done then you start attaching your feet in you don't have to use um a heat on it to stretch it just the gel and the comb would make the hair stretchy enough
so over here at the back i am still doing the same application or method apply the gel at the root and then braid and because it has my back and i don't see the back i'm using a different way of attaching the feedings or the extension so instead of passing it under the small braid of my hair i just pass it on top okay so this is another method i have tried to explain it into detail like how to grab your hair and braid or attach um, extensions like this on my tiktok it's also on, in my youtube shorts so you can check it out but then this is another method you can do the same method as you did at the front but um for me this is how it's able to work for me when i'm braiding at my back so i don't pass it and uh, I pass it on top so that it allows me to braid effortlessly without hurting my fingers or my arms. So in all, this is all that I have looking so nice. I love the combination of the hair colors. This is all that it is. This is how my back is looking like. I mean, when the front is looking good, the back is not like a lot of problem. Like we don't care about our back like that. <laughs> so this was all that is left. This is how much the hair is left from the patterns that I did. I would say I used about, let me say three different extensions, like three extensions, if I would say. And then to curl the hair, I, I tried to explore um, different ways of curling. And I used my flexi rods to do the curling. Now, with this type of curling, you attach the hair by twisting it on the flexi rod, okay, in the way that I am doing. And then you bend the flexi rods at the far ends, okay, so that's how to twist. Now you fetch another extension about two hairs and then you comb it and then you twist it around the flexi rod like that. Make sure that you are twisting it very, very tightly so that the curls will come out very nice. And then you bend the flexi rod at the far ends of the rod so that it becomes secure. Now I'm going to be using um, Setting Lotion by Shea Butter. This is Setting Lotion. I'm pouring it into hot water to set the curls. I've done this before actually. You realize that um, it is actually bulky so it's not a lot of strands that would go into the pill that i'm using so i have to be doing it one by one so with this particular curling if you are doing it yourself to be very honest i don't recommend this particular curling if you add somebody is going to do it for you then that is totally fine and when you have because you have to sit for a while and let it air dry or maybe blow it if you wish it will come out something like this and it is actually bulky after four days however i realized that the curls were sleeping like they, they, they were dull you see it was after four days i think it was because i used a certain lotion so i tried to revive the curls and this time around i used my mousse and then i used the threading method which i prefer very very well so i destroyed the curls that i have made and then apply hair mousse on top of the extensions about three different strands and then used my thread to do the curls and with the threading method you braid it at the roots or where you begin and then you begin to wrap the thread loosely around the hair extension or loosely around the pattern that you are doing until you reach the very last end so you don't um, wrap it around tightly just loosely so that you'll be able to pull the thread and then the extension will curl like that on top and then when it curls you hold the bottom and then you braid it securely like that okay so when you braid it securely then you make a knot so that it doesn't ravel you get it uh-huh so that is what i did i grab about three different strands and then i comb it and i apply my hair mousse and then i use the thread to thread again with the threading method you wrap it around the, the base or where you start threading and then you wrap you continue to wrap loosely around the parts or the ones the, the parts that is remaining in your hands okay very very loosely until you get to the very last end and then you hold it and pull it up tightly and then you secure the bottom okay <laughs>
so this is all the extensions that i have threaded you can tell that it is very very lightweight i prefer this one better way better than the flexi rod type because i'm doing it myself it is not bulky you can actually sleep with it so and you can see that with the hot water and the pill i'm able to grab as many as hair strands that i want into the hot water and set it in the hot water at the same time unlike the flexi rod curling method you understand so that's why i personally prefer this curling method so again if you are going to be doing it yourself make sure that this one right well let me uh, let me say i'm going to recommend this one for you uh-huh you can try the flexi rod method by yourself and then you also you can try this one as well then you compare which one would come in handy but i think we can all <laughs> see okay then when i was done i just blow dried i didn't have to even sleep on it until the next day i just blow dried and the curls came out perfect i just had to remove the thread from it by cutting all the threads i see and then you can clearly see that the curls have already started coming out so much very well i mean just look at the curls, look at the curls. <laughs> It came out as like exactly as i wanted like i mean everything that i envisioned this hairstyle to be it came out exactly that and i just cut out the tips where the hair were just like frail so i applied hair mousse on top of my hair just so that every hair strand would be removed and so far so good this is the results of the hair on short hair you know so how to grip and then also how to curl using the two different methods that i showed you so yeah it came out perfect you can style it any way you want it i mean look at the back everything is secured there's nothing that you can't do with this hair you can style it in different forms i'm going to post the styling tutorial on my tiktok and instagram but this is how i styled it after i finished doing my makeup so thank you so much for watching i'm going to see you in my next video do check out my other hair tutorials love ya bye